Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Castle Clinton National Monument. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, now starting out with fact number one, Castle Clinton National Monument is one of seven national monuments located in the great state of New York. Fact number two, located on the southern tip of Manhattan Island, Castle Clinton stands where New York City began and it symbolizes not only the city's growth, but the growth of a nation. Fact number three. If you find a photograph of Manhattan Island taken from anywhere in or near the harbor, whether the photo was taken on a ship, a helicopter, or a skyscraper, you will begin to notice that Castle Clinton National Monument is one of the most instantly recognizable landmarks in a city full of instantly recognizable landmarks. Fact number four. Acknowledging increasing tensions with the British, American Harbor cities began building forts for protection. New York City was no exception, and during this time it built four forts. Castle Williams on Governor Island, Fort Wood on Belglows Island, today known as Liberty Island, Fort Gibson on Ellis Island, and Southwest Battery on Manhattan Island. Fact number five. The four forts in the harbor kept the British Navy at bay, and Southwest Battery never had an issue or an instance to fire upon the enemy. Fact number six. In 1817, the fort was renamed from Southwest Battery to Castle Clinton to honor Dewitt Clinton, a very popular mayor and later governor of New York. Fact number seven. In 1823, the fort was deeded to New York City, and eventually the next year, a new restaurant and entertainment center opened on the monument, or back then it wasn't a monument, and it was renamed Castle Garden. Fact number eight. Many new inventions were tested and demonstrated there, including the telegraph, Colt revolving rifles, steam-powered fire engines, and underwater electric explosives. Fact number nine. Famous opera singer Ginny Lind, or the Swedish Nightingale, made her American debut here inside the monument in 1850. She was brought to America by none other than P.T. Barnum, famous for his American museums full of freaks, and later the famous circle which bears his name today. Fact number 10. The building was then remodeled again and was again reopened as the New York City Aquarium on December 10, 1896, until eventually the aquarium was relocated to Cooney Island. And bonus fact number 11, because this is worth mentioning, this national park site is one of the most visited national park sites at over 3 million visitors a year. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!